Well, hello and welcome, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, we're going to be carrying on from where we left off uh, last time. Uh, we were halfway through the sketch for our uh, slider web server. Here's what we're building. This is what we're building. Okay. And if you remember, it's a simple little circuit. It's just um, a LED and it's going to pin two. Right, we're going to pin two. So uh, let's go over to our sketch. Okay, here we are here at our sketch. If you remember, this is um, this is where we got to. All right. Um, so if you uh, if you've saved it, open it up. Okay, you know how to uh, to open a a file. I hope it's file, open recent, and mine slider A. Okay, slider A. Right, shall we crack on? Shall we crack on now? As I explained last time, these are what we call tags in the uh, less than and greater than. And we're going to be doing a little bit of JavaScript. All right, a little bit of JavaScript to create our slider. All right, so it's uh, less than. And the tag we use is called script all right it's called script then it's greater than enter right so we want to do a function all right so it's function space update updates slider capital s on the uh, slider and then it's pwm because it's going to be using pulse width modulation Exactly the same as a potentiometer does. All right. And it's brackets on and it's element. All right. Come outside the brackets. Space. There is no semicolon. And it's curly brackets and it's enter. Next is var. Slider value. So it's a variable. All right. Slider value. That's all V on the value. All right. And then it's equals space. And it's equals to document. Dot get. Element capital E on the element. And it's capital B. Y. ID, capital I D, just like that, just like that, as Tommy Cooper would say, brackets on, quotes, and it's PWM slider, capital S on the slider, all right, then it's quotes from outside the brackets, dot value. All right, semicolon, enter. And then it's document dot get element, capital E on the element. I haven't done a lot of Java script before. It's get, not get. So uh, this is all new to me, all right? Get element B Y capital B Y capital I small D, right? And then it's quotes text slider capital S on the uh, slider capital V on the value. Get slider value quotes. Um, just seeing, just seeing something. Go back here. Just before the quotes, after the ID, it's brackets on. All right. Come back to the second quote, and it's brackets off. Base dot inner HTML. And the HTML hypertext markup language is capitals. 
base equals slider value. Capital V on the value. All right. And semicolon. Enter. Then it's console. All small case. Dot log. Brackets on. Slider. Value. Capital V on the value. Right. I'm outside the brackets. Semicolon. Enter. So we come down a bit. Come down a bit. Okay. So next we got we done console var space x h r space equals new space x m l capitals h capital small t t p right hypertext transfer protocol request. So we're requesting the HTTP, right? Hypertext transfer protocol. Brackets on, brackets off. I'm outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Next, XHR, or small case, dot open. Brackets on, quotes, get, capital G-E-T. All right. Why have I put hold on there when it's quotes get quotes off okay comma place quotes forward slash slider question mark I haven't pressed that one for a long time where's my question mark yeah value equals quotes plus slider value all right slider value comma space true i'm outside the bracket semicolon right so enter and then it's xhr dot send brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets semicolon right come down come outside the curly brackets enter the space in there that's come down a bit now what we need to do that is our javascript we need to now close off that tag so it's less than forward slash that's how we close a uh, tag and script All right greater than enter now we need to come outside the body less than forward slash body greater than enter and now we need to come out of our html so it's less than forward slash html all right greater than all right come down come down and come outside the brackets and it's raw literal all right quotes semicolon enter all right let's come down Oop. now then what we have to do is we have to replace the placeholder with the bottom section in your web page all right so it's string capital s Space processor space brackets on changes color const space string 
and space variable var. All right, come outside the brackets. All right, space. And then it's curly brackets, enter. And then we'll put serial print, all right? Serial dot print the variable, okay? So if brackets on var equals equals quotes slider value all in capitals. All right, come outside the quotes, come outside the brackets, space, no semicolon, curly brackets, enter. Return. Okay, and it's going to return. Remember what we're building, we've got the little box, it's going to give us our value in that little box. So it's slider value, capital V on the value. All right. Semicolon. Come down a bit. All right. Come outside the curly brackets. All right. Outside the cur curly brackets and it's return space string capital S. Brackets on, brackets off. Come outside the brackets, semicolon. All right. Then come outside the curly brackets, enter. And now we're going to do our void setup. All right, our void setup. So we've created all our HTML, we've created our JavaScript. Things that we want to happen only once. All right, for debugging, we want serial.begin. Why not put a space in there? Don't know. All right, brackets on. And it's 115200 or whatever you've got your board rate set at. All right. Come outside the uh, brackets, semicolon, enter. Now we need to configure the LED pulse width modulation functionalities, right? So it's LED C setup. Brackets on. LED channel. Capital C on the channel. Comma. Frequency R F R E Q for that. Comma. Resolution. Come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. All right, attach the channel to the GPIO to be to be controlled. Okay, so LEDC attach pin capital A on the attach, capital P on the pin. A brackets on output comma space LED channel. Capital C on the channel. Right. Come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Come up a little bit. So that's our attached pin. And then we've got the do the right. So it's uh, LEDC. Right, capital W. LED right. Brackets on. LED channel. Capital C, all right, comma, slider value, capital V on the value, dot, and it's two, and capital I, small n, P. Brackets on, brackets off, come outside the brackets, come outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Right. Now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Right. So it's Wi-Fi, capital W, 
capital F dot begin brackets on SSID comma space password radio come outside the brackets semicolon enter right and it's while we've got a while here space brackets Wi-Fi wrong is capital W capital F all right bumpy text Wi-Fi dot status brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets space um not exclamation mark what's that called my brain my brain all right not exclamation yeah exclamation mark in it exclamation mark equals space capital w l underscore connected all right come outside the brackets no semicolon no semicolon curly brackets enter and we want to delay brackets on remember we do it in milliseconds so 1000 is one second come outside the uh, bracket semicolon enter and then what we want to do is in the serial monitor we want to see that we're connected so serial dot print line capital ln brackets on quotes all right and there uh, anything in the quotes is printed so it's connecting to why why well you can put whatever you want in there whatever you want to to be printed all right come outside the quotes come outside the brackets semicolon all right and come out of the curly brackets now we want to uh, print the esp's address all right so it's serial dot print line brackets on quotes and it's Wi-Fi dot local capitals IP right for IP address internet protocol if you didn't know what what IP stands for internet protocol brackets on brackets off wrong the local IP come out pass that hang on I've done something wrong here serial print line all right okay take the quotes out we're saying here's no quotes serial dot print line brackets on a wi-fi dot local ip right brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets come outside the brackets semicolon enter come up a bit now we want root for the root right to the web page all right <coughs> excuse me so it's server dot on right server dot on just know where I, i'm at brackets on quotes forward slash full quotes forward slash come outside the quotes comma space HTTP all capitals underscore get 
http hypertext transfer protocol get comma paste square brackets on square brackets off brackets on async web server request so it's capital a sync capital w web capital s server capital r request okay right space star all right request come outside the brackets and it's a, a curly bracket okay enter then it's request black forward dash sorry dash <laughs> dash greater than send underscore capital p brackets on 200 comma quotes and inside the quotes we want text or slash html all small case the hypertext markup language html right come outside the quotes comma base index html index sorry underscore html comma P R O C for processor all right and that's processor come outside the uh brackets semicolon all right then come outside the uh, curly brackets come outside the bracket semicolon radio and it's enter put a couple of spaces in there let's come up a bit let's come up a bit on my notes now we want to send and get request for the esp ip address right the slider value and for the input messaging all right so server dot on brackets on quotes or slash slider all small case come outside the quotes brackets enter http capitals underscore get right comma base square brackets on and off base brackets on and it's a sync web server request again space star request come outside the brackets right then it's curly brackets on space string capital s input message and it's capital M on the message. Early, uh, semicolon. Enter. Come up a little bit. So now we need to get input one value from the slider. All right. So it's if space brackets on request. Dash greater than has a rams. It's P A R A M. Capital P on the param. Has param. 
brackets param all capitals underscore input all capitals just like that come outside the brackets come outside the brackets radio space curly brackets enter input message capital m on the message space equals request dash greater than get param brackets on param input all capitals param underscore input come outside the uh, brackets dash and greater than value right brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets semicolon enter next one slider value capital v on the value space equals space request right So on the hang on if input message slider value equals sorry not request input message i'm looking at the line above all right slider value input message capital m semicolon enter and then it's ledc right capital w uh brackets on led channel c comma slider value radio dot two capital i or nt Brackets on, brackets off. Mass side, both brackets, semicolon, enter. Right. Come down, come outside the curly brackets, enter. Then it's else. Space. No semicolon. Curly brackets, enter. Input message. Capital M on the message space equals space quotes no message sent why do I keep doing that it's equals input message equals no message sent right come across come outside the curlies put another space in there outside the curlies then it's serial a dot print line brackets on input message all right come outside the brackets semicolon enter then after that it's request dash greater than brackets on 200 comma space quotes text or slash plain come outside the quotes comma space quotes okay 
capitals, come outside the quotes, come outside the brackets, semicolon. Right? Come outside the curly brackets, come outside the brackets, and we've got a semicolon here. Right? Enter. Couple of spaces. And then server dot begin brackets on brackets off come outside the brackets semicolon and that is our sketch that is our sketch all right well fingers crossed we ain't got too many mistakes yeah fingers crossed and let's upload it. Loading, not uploading, compiling the sketch. Just a reminder if you haven't got your kits, etc., um, we are going to be moving on to some new modules, the BME 680. If you haven't got one of those, you need to purchase one. I've got links below. And the BME. BME 180 and I think there's a 280. All right. Basically, we're going to be hopefully building um, a little weather station. All right. A little local weather station. Right. What's up here after come up? Just after the script closes. Where we meet, let me find where we are. Raw literal string processor brackets on const string and var brackets off. If bar equals equals quotes slider value quotes. What's this here? Let's look. I expect to come by there a token request. Hmm. String set. Right, I'm going to uh to quickly debug this and I'll be back and I'll tell you what changes, if any. Right, okay, right. A uh, couple of things. Um, the problem was one of the problems I had space here, right? Under the raw literal, bring a processor, take the space out. Take the space out. All right. Another one I had three ends instead of two ends on a channel. And um, one more. Here, I had request dash greater than put in send. Right, the send was missing. Right, the send was missing. Apart from that, everything was fine. Right, okay, let's upload it. Let's compile the sketch. Shouldn't take long. So, just three little errors there. I didn't want to keep you hanging about while I searched for them. All right. Because the videos go on long enough. But I've shown you the errors. And we're uploading. Not yet. We're compiling. Right. And the 
for some reason, I think I'm on the wrong com port. I think I'm on the wrong com port. Bear with me. Okay, I'm now on COM10. All right, I now am, I think I'm on COM10. All right. I should have done this um, before before we started but anyway we've learned we're all learning something so rover module okay right now we should be able to upload hopefully i'm on the wrong com or the correct com port this time yeah because i've had a revamp i've just got a new desk i had to unplug everything so all of my com ports uh, have changed I'll show you, we're going to have to sort them out soon anyway. All right? Because we're going to need all the MAC addresses for our... Uh... Right. And we're uploading. I'm going to get my mobile ready. I'm going to get my mobile ready. Yeah, it's only a few little mistakes, really. Three uh, mistakes, which is good for me. It's good. But we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Not long now. Okay. Right. And yep. So we've uploaded. We now need to get our IP address. Okay. So go to your serial monitor. Now press reset on your ESP32, which is the left little button. All right, and there's mine as before. It's got the, still got the same IP address, 132. So get your mobile. Let's go over to here so you can see. All right. Ooh. You make sure you can see. All right. Yeah, see, and just type in your IP address. So it's 192. Dot. Where's my dot? Uh, 168. Dot zero. Dot. Dot 132. And let's go over to it. Let's see if we can find it. No. 192.168.0.132. Let's go. Hang on, I'm having problems here. 192. Sorry about this, guys. One nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one three two. Enter. Keep asking me to. Don't know what's wrong here, guys. User error. Right, let me start again. I'm going to stop again. <laughs> Sorry about this while I sort this out. Okay. Right, guys, I think I found the issue with my phone. It was my phone. So what I've done, I've, um, I've reset my phone. Let's come to here. Ooh. So I'll put in the IP address 192.168.0.132. Let's start it. And there we go. It was my phone. My phone was playing up. Right. So if we look, we've got the slider. Can you see? Let's see if you can get it all in. What I'll have to do, I'll turn it up. Okay. And there you saw the light go up. Right, I'm on 163. Let's go all the way up. And it's got a little brighter. I don't know if you can uh, see it on the camera. But um, 
yeah and let's turn it down again and you can see it go off all right okay so that's how we set up a um web server with a slider a web server with a slider um remember we've done it before we used a, a potentiometer didn't we we used a potentiometer but um anyway two videos hopefully we've all learned something i have all right so please give us a thumbs up subscribe and comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye bye